Welcome back to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is yet another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. First let me say uh, stop by my website if you enjoy this video. It's jackstechcorner.com and look at the uh, DVD collections. Now a lot of you have been emailing me saying Jack about the DVDs will work with version 8. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of these videos were filmed with uh, version 6 and version 7, but all those tools will also work in version 8. Uh, the best value for your money is the three volume set. And I also wanted to point out something new here is there is a copy of a book that I've actually uh, written myself. And I wanted to point that out just in case you want to pick up a copy. It will kind of help you out with your uh, computer. Help you out with a little bit about free antivirus software and all kind of uh, really good stuff in that book. And there's even a section in there about emailing pictures and how you would resize those to email them. So it's a pretty good book. Um, it's not directly dealing with Photoshop elements, but it has a lot to offer you in there. If you'd like to pick up a copy of that book, just click on here uh, or the uh, cover and you can actually go ahead and pick up a copy of that book from uh, Lulu dot com is where it's from it's actually a self-publishing company so there you go it's enough for that let's get out of here and get on with today's lesson today's lesson I thought I would show you one tool or one in particular set of tools that will allow you to modify your picture in many many different ways and it's very very easy to use now the tool is actually right down here it's called the sponge tool but if we right click on that sponge, you'll see we actually have the dodge tool and the burn tool. Now I wanted to show you how those could be used to actually change your picture a little bit and actually make it uh, more appealing actually is what it's going to do. So let's go ahead and start uh, playing with these tools and I'll explain them as we go along. The first tool here is the sponge tool. Now there's a couple different modes up here. Saturate and desaturate. Now desaturate is going to do just that. It's going to take color away. And we open my brush up here and we're going to work with the sky right here. Now if I desaturate you'll see here I'll just go across here and it actually starts taking some of the blue away. It starts desaturating the color out. Much like if we would just desaturate if we would go to totally black and white we can go here adjust color um, we've looked at this before adjust hue and saturation and if you take a saturation and drop it you're desaturating it right you're making it black and white okay I'm going to undo that now let's go up here and we'll change this drop down menu to saturate saturate is going to bring out more color so now if we click you can see just a very light, very light here. Uh, if it's a little too dark for you, see that almost looks a little bit too blue. We can change the flow. Let's change the flow down, which is almost like opacity, I guess. You can see here, it will actually make it a little light. Now, the more you go over it, the more saturated it's going to get. So just uh, give it a brief uh, click here and just a little drag of your mouse. And you can see now the sky is actually bluer than what it was. It's a nice tool and I thought well if I play around a little bit if I lower my brush size I can actually go over these trees and I can actually saturate this so it's more green. Now it's picking up the base color from underneath of the actual brush itself. It's picking up what the color is and that's what we're actually uh, going over this with or saturating with. Let's go ahead and revert, revert our picture back to normal. We'll go down here now, right click, and let's go to the Dodge tool. Now the Dodge tool is working basically the same way, except it's doing with exposure. So you know you can underexpose or overexpose. You can work on the shadows. Raise our brush up here. You can see here, we can go back through here with the shadows, and we can actually lighten that right up. OK, 
Got it right down the runway. There we go. So we can actually increase the uh, the lightness of that, or uh, raise the shadows up and make it more exposed. That's our exposure. That's what's doing that. You can work with mid-tones. Zip in here in the mid-tones. We can actually brighten that up or raise the exposure. So if you haven't underexposed part of your picture, this is just a nice tool to bring up the exposure just a little bit. We can see here we can actually bring this all up. Just like so. And it also works with highlights. Just like on this hat here, we can actually highlight a little bit. So we can actually bring up the exposure just a little bit or raise the highlights. You see there's some sunlight on our hat. We'll just uh, raise it up a little bit. So that's that tool. The next tool is, if you right click, is the burn tool. And again, same thing. You work with shadows, midterms, or highlights. If you go here, it's kind of burning it in. So I like to think of this as, I don't know if you ever did this when you were younger. Maybe you do it now, today. Um, we used to take a torch, a blow torch, and go over a board, kind of burning it into the board. That's the kind of feel I get when I use this technique. You can see here, we could just go over here real lightly with our mouse. We're actually just burning this in. And if you burn it too much, it's going to actually get too dark. Let me demonstrate that. I'll hold my mouse here, and I'm just going to go right over here many times. It's almost like you're burning a hole in the paper, like the torch is too hot. It also works with mid-tones. You see that we're actually burning it right into the trees. Or we're making it a little darker. You can raise the exposure. Let's say we take it up dramatically to about 80. And what it does, it makes it even darker. 80% exposure. We can lower it down. About 10. And it'll make it a little lighter. You can actually again work with the highlights. And you really can't see a whole lot of effect there with the highlights. It's because we have exposure of 10. Let's turn our exposure back up. There you go. We can actually take the highlights down a little bit. Um, now the only thing I can tell you there is if you take a picture and you've probably done this before, maybe. I know I have. And it's dramatically overexposed. Uh, you're going to lose details. So you're not really going to be able to fix anything. I, I tried and you really uh, have a tough time. If the detail's not there, you're not going to be able to fix it. Just go over here the same way over the sky. Now we took that nice bright sunny day and turned it into a bad storm brewing. And that is how you dramatically change your pictures with one tool. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, once again, stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com. If you have any questions or concerns, please email me. And the email is jackstechcorner at gmail.com. You can also join our forums on the webpage and check out our blog. Uh, check out my blog on that website. You'll see there's some audio files I've been playing around with. Maybe you want to learn elements just by listening. And if you do, email me. I'd like to hear from everybody out there to see uh, what's going on and what your concerns are. Or if you have questions, concerns, or anything else, drop me an email. Make sure you subscribe to the videos on YouTube. And until next time, remember folks, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editor editing, and we will see you back here very soon. So long for now.